cambia nata andala banco bino Hapo nye manke la stati nsafo entele la stala stati It's funny how ndo kel kwema like bari ba mali ya muta dingoti See I'm not even impressed ni mole njibe saka hapo nye musta Hey, Lizzy the Hardest featuring A2 the Fulani blood. Never heard of man like Lizzy the Hardest. Limoneka first time I dig a way and be musu my dig a way and before this. So let's get into it. Let's see what I go on. What vibes like. Oh, shout out to him. Shout out to and visuals and that, bro. You get me? It was, what video was it, bro? Was it Moses' video? I can't remember who it was, but they came into one of my videos and commented and that, bro. Because I got them confused. I'm a fucking name, guiding on Def Comsa, uh, video production in the Gambia, uh, the UK, Tamway. They're so popular and that I was constantly seeing the thingy that I thought they were in two different countries and them thing there, bro. You know what I'm saying? But now, nah, they're just based in Gambia, but they're going crazy. And shout out to them and that, bro. You know what I'm saying? Keep doing it. Shout out to the melanin. Oh, so Lizzie the Hardest is a girl. Makes sense. Lizzie, Elizabeth, you know what I mean? I can't say it all, bro. Yang is weak and bit. You see the hairline? It's way too harsh, man. Like, I feel like the hairline's supposed to blend in, bro. It's way too harsh in that fam. You know what I'm saying? Make up some point, bro. Like most artists as well, bro, that when an artist starts rapping in English in that, bro, and then they go back to Wolof or Mandinka, their cultural language in that, bro, you always see a difference. They're always more comfortable with the cultural language than they are with English. It's the same thing with her. Within her English flows and her kind of like melodies when she's speaking English and that, bro, they're cool. But then as soon as she goes into a Mandinka flows and that, bro, you notice a difference in them to her. She's much more comfortable with the Mandinka flows and that. And I think that's most Gambian. I haven't seen any Gambian artist yet that is more comfortable in the English English than with cultural. It's always the cultural that the most comfortable, and the English is like, uh, you see, like the level drops a bit, bro. You know. You see, like it's just more smooth. You know what I mean? Yeah. I'm saying, bro, forget English, bro. Just rapping your cultural language and that, bro. There's a lot of different uh, Nigerian artists, South African artists that just rap in their own language and that they don't even touch English. Or it's maybe just one word within a sentence or a bar. Because when she first started, I was like, okay, I'm not really seeing anything that's crazy here and that, bro. Then as soon as she goes into the Mandinka, she's much more comfortable. Her flows are much more smoother and that, bro. The singing is much more melodious and much more melodic and that, like, you know what I mean? Like, she's way more comfortable with the Mandinka, man. You get me, bro? Now I'm seeing that, okay, she's an artist now. I'm seeing potential here, now, you know what I mean? This is probably the, in terms of if she was going to do the English in the main, uh, what do you call it, in the front, the main vocal in that, bro, it's Mandinka, and then in the background as the ad-lib or as a backing vocal, then she has the English. If that's the case, then yeah, she should do it like that. So in the foreground, the main stage in that, you have the Mandinka, and then in the background, you have the English, bro. If she was to do the English flows, that's how she should do it and them thing there, because when the English is the main, main thing in that, bro, it definitely isn't a strong suit for sure. <laughs> Oh yeah, 
And you see here, bro, guess, uh, you see the hairline in that, bro, how it blends a little bit more in that, bro, and it looks a little bit more natural compared to, compared to here in that, bro, where it's just like a, just a straight semicircle and ending there, bro. You know what I'm saying? This is how the guy's hairline should look in that, bro. You get me? That's how the guy's hairline should look. A girl's hairline shouldn't be looking like that. It should blend more, bro. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, it blend them all, bro. You know what I mean? Do you guys not hear it? Do you guys not hear it, blood? Listen to when he was doing the English flows and then look at when it goes back into the cultural language once again in that, bro. You get me? He's much more stronger and much more confident and much more comfortable with the cultural flows in that, bro. I'm telling you, bro. I'm telling you. Like the vocals are a little shaky here, bro. You get me? Now listen. Comfortable. Uh, swagger blood. Listen, man. Mm -hmm. You see, he can even go a little bit higher, a little bit lower as well in that breath. Because he's comfortable where he is in that breath. Like, listen. Control. All in all, it was good. All in all, it was good. That, you get me? And one thing I definitely don't want is to start to get bigger in them thing there, bro. And then, um, what do you call it? Artists start to think that anything I say is what should go in them thing there, bro. I'm just a, a supporter of Gambian music and want it to get bigger. And I'm just voicing my opinion. Anything I say, you don't need to follow my advice whatsoever in them thing there. I'm just voicing my opinion on what I like, what I don't like, what I think you should have done better in that, bro. You know what I'm saying? Whether you want to take that advice or not, that's up to you in them thing there, bro. You know what I'm saying? I'm not the end all and be all on that. Never that, bro. You get me? I'm still a supporter in them thing there, bro. Just voicing my opinion. But um, yeah, this song was good though, bro. Like I said, my only discrepancy is just some of the English parts and that bro just were a little bit shaky and that with the vocals and them thing there bro but all in all this was a good song though I like the little elements and that bro when they were doubling up on the vocal and that bro you had the main vocal in the forefront and that and then you had the vocal in the background backing them up and them thing there bro you know what I'm saying A to the Fulani as well when he went a little bit higher and lower as well like yeah there was good things in this you know what I mean bro but yeah shout out to the both of them and that bro all in all this is definitely a good song definitely going on the playlist and I'll catch you on the next one it's your boy and Jazz and I'm out of here and a bit people man I'm gone Wrong one, man. Tele Gambia na tanda la banco bino. Apanya manke la statin sapo en tele la stala stati. It's funny how do kel koi man like bari bamali ya muda dingoti. See I'm not even impressed ni mole di besa ka apanya mustalji a bit bigger than all these other stars. When I'm back at Galaxy City, I'm a cool in ne. Van sola me cool in ne. Come on samusa na la muruba. Don't make a parade in ne. Sim kunto man kunta kinte stop non. Don't be motivated in ne. Lyrical musa 